safety. For CF Industries, it's what matters most. That's why we believe in advancing a culture of safety excellence. When everyone is engaged, empowered, and innovative, we can achieve a safe and productive workplace. The Stephen R. Wilson Excellence in Safety Award recognizes CF locations for their innovative contributions to improving our safety practices and culture. This award is our way of honoring locations who cultivate the very best safety practices and culture company-wide. That takes knowing what's right at every level and the commitment to do it right every time. It means never taking safety for granted. This year's Wilson Award finalists stand out because they demonstrated their commitment to safety excellence and to do it right. Here's their story. Here at Yazoo City, and I look at our near-miss reports that come out through our email. I noticed over the past year there were three or four incidents um, with employees that had been working for a year or less. We recognize that many of our new hires, very few of them have experience in heavy industry. And so what we wanted to do was to give each person a bit of a wake-up call that when they walk through the plant gate, hey, they're not in Kansas anymore. The younger folks as they were coming in, or even people that worked in different industries where maybe safety wasn't important, had what we would call a Superman complex where it'll never happen to me, or I'm invincible. Safety is just a word. It wasn't personal, it hasn't impacted them, it hadn't touched them. We have signs that are posted around the plant, and it says an incident happened here, and it puts a date. They're left purposely vague so that when new hires or employees go out in the field and see these signs, they can then ask, well, what does this mean? I know as a relatively new hire myself. We felt we could benefit from creating some type of specialized training that maybe we should try to engage the new hires more. So we decided to try to create a video recounting each incident and the people that were involved in it. Tony did not have a radio that night and fortunately we were able to add a few pieces of mic and this and that and come up with them a radio and it was very fortunate because later on that night we heard him come on and it was just a real serious cut it off cut it off cut it off all of us knew it was not a good thing and uh, he just couldn't understand why he couldn't get his arm out the video, it was very sobering because I hadn't had that experience yet where anything touched me personally. After the accident, everybody was kind of in shock the rest of the night. Got off of work and drove to the hospital, tired, dirty. You can tell it's very emotional to everybody that was involved. Buddy Callahan, the raw emotion that I could just feel coming through was unreal. It, it gives us the reminder that you know, these are real people and these events actually happened. I've been with the company now going on 10 months. After I'd been here about three weeks, I had a recordable. I wasn't following protocol. I sprained my shoulder and had to be taken to the hospital. I knew Hunter had been involved in an accident, so you know I kind of want to fill him out on you know what what was your mindset when you when your accident happened. I was the new guy on the job. I was trying to you know make people say, all right, he's he's good, he can work by himself. I was trying to man up Superman and do it by myself. So he was really trying to do really well and just didn't take the safety part of it in, in, into account. And I told him, we appreciate all those things, of course. We really want people who are energetic, hardworking, but we have to do it safe. You know, making this video was not easy. It was uh, not the first thing I wanted to do, but I realized that maybe uh, there was something people could learn from it. After I saw the video, that's when it started to hit home with me that if something happens to me out here, it's not just gonna affect me. It'll affect everyone that I'm around. And I had to tell his family that I was very sorry. And I don't ever wanna go 
through that again. After I saw that video is when I actually started to think, maybe there's some jobs that I need to slow down with, need to get some help with. And I told him, you know, I'm not going to allow you to get hurt when you work for me. And I'm not going to allow you to let anybody else get hurt. We're all got to look out for each other. Safety has definitely come alive with this video. I've noticed more people going out in the field, searching out these signs and asking questions. I've also noticed more people wanting to know about our safety programs. And so what used to be just a word is now something that they're wanting to know more about. It just drives home the fact that, you know, we come here, we go to work every day and we want everyone to walk out of work just as they came. Through the video, by showing incidents that happened in the past, we are ensuring a safe future here at CF. I personally think the video speaks for itself as far as impact. We've taken something that was a concept and we've made it real and we've shown it to all of our employees. We will continue to show it on a yearly basis. We're even considering showing it to our contractors so that they know that safety is not just something that we talk about, it is something that we do. This idea we had for the safety video is very transferable to all the sites within the CF family because each site has their own story to tell. Unfortunately, we had more than just the five incidents. So when these particular five portions of the video maybe become routine and everybody becomes complacent, there are five more just waiting to be told. So there are more people that are willing to share those stories. The video, it has renewed our effort to be more diligent about sharing our safety out in the field. We are very excited to be in the top five finalists for the Steve Wilson Award again this year. And so it's our chance to shine and to show that this deserves to be the winner. Remember the video, it's just great pride for myself and our team here in Yazoo City. To help in the safety of just everybody on site is just tremendous in my opinion. I think it, it meets the, the core values that, that CF tries to promote because it creates a collaborative environment of sharing ideas, sharing incidents, sharing knowledge about safety. Because that is our safety culture. We want to be a safety leader. CF couldn't be where it is today or where we want to be tomorrow without our people living a culture of safety excellence. As this year's Wilson Award finalists demonstrate, that culture of excellence is alive and well and getting stronger every day. That's because at CF, we do it right.